what is up guys welcome back to my channel um today i want to do a video for you guys um in this video i want to show you guys how i do my sneaker photography um pretty much it's, it's not too complicated it's just kind of simple the way i do um, I, the way i do is take my sneaker photography um and to be honest with you guys all i do is use my girlfriend's vanity room because the lighting is probably the best um as far as like all the rooms in the house and all i do is pretty much use her room for the lighting um a tablecloth and pretty much I just laid on the floor, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But it's nothing crazy, something simple. I think it just comes more to creativity as far as like, um, just looking around the house or just, you know, getting ideas from other people or kind of like getting ideas from other people and then making your own photography or kind of twisting it a little bit, I guess you can say. But um, that actually was supposed to be my sneaker room, her vanity room. But I ended up giving it to her um, just because she wanted one, so I gave her that one. And I ended up getting another room from the house and made that my sneaker room, which I will talk to you guys about in a bit as far as like the update coming soon in the video. But right now, I just want to show you guys what is how I do my photography. And I got a couple things too, you know, that I took out, and I'll show you guys some of the things I use, and then I'll show you guys the pictures and what the end result was. So I ended up coming into her vanity room, which is um. The reason why you like using this her room just because of the lighting i feel like the lighting is pretty good in here compared to the other rooms but this is pretty much all i use is a tablecloth um not all the time but you know sometimes another thing that i use is her chair um that's you know some of the things you just got to be creative and you know have different ideas um but let me show you guys some of the pictures that i've done and I took out some Jordan 1's and I'll show you guys how I did it. I didn't use a tablecloth for this one, but I pretty much all I did was, you know, grab, you know, the, the ones and I was looking around her room to see what I could use. And one of the things that I found was these two plants. So I pretty much it seemed like it went pretty well together. So. I kind of just started fixing up the shoes and finding out, you know, what angles. You have to have like a different perspective as far as photography too. You know, you can't just always, you know, you have to kind of have different angles, different views, different, you know, different ideas. You have to be creative as far as photography. And I think I do a pretty decent job about it um, compared to back then. So back then the way I used to take my pictures, all I did was I would just hold a shoe up and that was it. I would try to get the other shoe in the background and that was pretty much my sneaker photography which I kind of tend to still do nowadays but now I try to be more creative so for example you could do something like just lay it down like this take the picture right there maybe you know lay them up kind of go down and I mean it's just up to you but you know that's one of the things that I use when I came into her room uh, another thing that I used was these flowers that she has here. Um, but when I use these, I kind of use them for the Jordan 1, pur the purple ones. So it kind of almost is the same color. I don't know if you guys can get the... It's almost kind of the same, but when I took this picture, I ended up using her chair. I put it against the window and I was trying to get a good lighting as far as I was trying to make sure the chair faced a little bit of the the window so I could get that good lighting but that's another picture that I took I'll post it up show you guys how this one looked and the pine green ones how the picture came out to be so another picture that I did was with the Kobe sixes which I'll show you guys so I'll put them right now on the screen um, there were the Kobe six think pink um, I came into the room and I started looking around and I was just talking to her and all of a sudden like it just hit me I started looking at some of these things I shot how to run the room I use that I think I use this I'm not I'm not quite sure if I did and I think I used these right here and that's pretty much you know some of the things I use for that picture and you know usually I like coming in here just like I said because of lighting um i've even used some of these before like some of these roses before that she has in here 
for some of the photography and it's just pretty much just kind of being creative I guess you can say another picture that I ended up using was with my Kobe my Kobe shoes that I have on right now I ended up not using the tablecloth I actually use you know that little mat or carpet whatever she has over there for that picture um, I pretty much just ended ended up laying down on the floor um, I reading this book right now which is a pretty good I do recommend it I saw the book and I figured it'll be it will go well with the shoes but not only the shoes with the stand socks so pretty much all I did was lift up you know my Nike sweats a little bit up and if you guys can see there goes another picture right there it's like simple things like that that you could take but you know I mean you just have to really find ideas to whether it's in here or even if you go to the store you see something you like like a background or things like that I mean it always helps but you know like I said this is a simple picture I mean it's just you know I think I already had this on and I was just hanging out in the house I was reading this book and I noticed that everything matched so I came up here real quick and I'm like you know what let me take a picture I'm starting to see what background and like I said I use that instead of the tablecloth and the picture came out pretty good which I will post so you guys can kind of see the end result or what it looks what it looked like but you know simple things like that so I ended up coming into the sneaker room I want to show you guys um, some of the stuff that I'm gonna start doing to the shoe room or the sneaker room um, right now I haven't done anything crazy as you guys can see everything's still the same I don't know if you guys seen my other videos but I'm gonna add more shelves to the room um, I might hang some stuff up in the I don't know about that yet I don't know how I want to do that yet but for sure I want to buy some more shelves the only thing I want to do is I don't know if you guys can tell when it comes to this one the way that the shoes fit I kind of don't like it too much which I'll show you guys right now the difference between this one and the smaller one so if you guys can see the difference between this one the shoes don't fit too well compared to this one um, the shoes fit perfectly where you don't have to you have like pretty much some good space compared to this one you know they're a little bit tighter um, it's kind of hard you can't fit them all so I had to turn one they had to turn them and put them this way because they didn't fit like that so I'm trying to get another one maybe this big but you know for the shoes to fit like that and I'm thinking of putting it in this corner right here so I might put one in this corner and I think I might put another one and maybe this corner right here and you know once I do that I don't know what I want to do with this wall you know I'm thinking I don't know if I should leave that there these I don't know if I want to hang these up or leave them there if I do like I kind of for sure want to do something to that wall and as you guys can see I have like a little bit of space here where I could still hang a couple things up um, I don't know but I'm excited to start fixing it up again and for now I haven't done anything to it it looks pretty much the same so nothing crazy um, so we'll see we'll see how I fix it up was and maybe with time I was gonna be changing it up and putting new stuff I'm, I don't want to keep it all the same I think you know I'm gonna get more creative just like in the photography as far as the room and start adding more things or taking things off or we'll see but for now this is it I will for sure make a video about that I'm just trying to see where I could find um, some of these bookshelves that are this you know the same width or the same pretty much the same way I think this one's two two and a half two feet or three feet I can't remember compared to this one's a little bit smaller that's why they fit kind of tight um, but yeah I'll talk I'll make for sure a video about that so I hope you guys enjoy the video um, nothing crazy I just want to show you guys how I do my photography as far as sneakers something quick anyways um, don't forget about the giveaway just subscribe to my channel support me you know thank you guys for watching I appreciate my family my friends any new subscriber um, you know I just appreciate the support and I got another video coming up um, another sneaker video and after that I might do an adventure video I might go hiking but anyways I hope you guys enjoy the video remember to stay positive and I'll see you guys on the next video